Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today I'm gonna to be incorporating some of these well-detailed brass shackles uh, into our project. So it's gonna be a really simple weave, uh, but even with a simple weave, these tend to look just really awesome and bold on a bracelet. So a couple different versions of these shackles will actually be available in our store here soon, so keep an eye out for those. I'm personally really excited to give these a try today, so let's jump in. For our supplies today, I'll be using about 10 feet of OD green in 550 and around 12 feet in microcord in tan. Um, and that's just to make sure I have enough length of the microcord to match up with my 550. In addition to our cord, we will be using one of the three variations on those shackles that I mentioned earlier. We have a really cool werewolf one, uh, a bear, and kind of a Celtic knot style wolf that I will be using for the bracelet. And just like any other paracord bracelet, I'll need a lighter, a pair of scissors, and for this one, a paracord jig. To start, uh, obviously, Shackles are a little bit different than just a regular paracord buckle. I had to think about this one a little differently when I was putting it on the jig today, but you'll end up latching it to the, the peg end of the shackle. So what you'll end up doing is putting this back through your shackle and sliding the clasp on from there. So when you get that onto your jig, it should look just like that. Obviously we can't use a clasp on the other side of the shackle. So I just loosened that screw a little bit on the other end of the jig. And after I get my cord onto this side, I'll just be placing it on here on the jig. So first I'll start with the 10 feet of OD green in 550, and I will just do a regular cow hitch on the end of that shackle. So you find your middle of your cord, thread it through underneath there, and just pull the other end of the cords through. So after the cow hitch knot on this end of the shackle, I will be pulling these two end strands through the top of this end. So what I'm actually gonna do is put them through the top and out the bottom. So before you pull those strands all the way through, you wanna place your shackle head at the other end and then you can just pull those strands nice and tight. Now before we tighten that all the way up to start weaving, make sure that there isn't any overlap on your cord strands and that it's not all twisted. It can happen fairly easily with fishtail bracelets. So before I start my weave, I will be taking my microcord, which I also folded in half, and I'll be hitching that to this end of the bracelet. Um, so you might have to loop that underneath and through your shackle. And then once you have that through, you'll just be pulling your ends and placing them alongside the other two side strands. So for a basic fishtail bracelet, you just wanna take Either side, you can start left or right, but just pass that underneath the strand opposite. And then you just wanna repeat that on the other side. The tricky part is keeping all of your strands nice and tight while you start the bracelet off. So I'm actually going to do a couple of these first and then show you one more time how to do that.
Okay, so after I've done a couple passes on each side with our cords, you can actually try and get that all tightened up again. And just push your weave up nice and tight and you'll get that fishtail pattern. So I'll go ahead and just finish that bracelet up and show you how to finish it off. Now that I'm ready to cut my strands off, I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit and just get it nice and tight down to the end. Make sure the rest of the bracelet is looking how I want it to. I think that looks pretty good. So I will cut these off about an eighth of an inch away from the back of the bracelet. So then I'll take my lighter after I cut those off and heat seal that onto the back. So just use the bottom or the top of your lighter to press that down and you finished off your bracelet. So here is that finished fishtail bracelet with our new shackles. And I just really like the bronze with just those nice solid colors, like a good OD green and tan I think that this just goes really well together. So to finish it off, take the pin out of your shackle, clasp it back together, and get it nice and tight. And there is our finished bracelet. Well, thanks for watching today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Links to the supplies used in this video will be down in the description below, uh, aside from our shackles, but make sure you keep an eye out on all of our social media channels for when those drop in our store. So thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time.